Welcome back, beautiful beings. Today, I want to show you how I made this ripple book. Okay. And I've seen these made before, but treasure books inspired me. So shout out to treasure books. She didn't make them exactly like this. I took my puncher here and just did a little punch after I put it together. Okay. But I made these before. I thought of the idea of a ripple effect book. Okay. So if you can see the difference. Where's the one? Here's one. Here's a ripple effect. Okay. Well, you just have them so you can see each edge. Okay. These ones I did not do that way. But I will do one of these for you. These, this paper... Is from Grafter Square. <laughs> and I almost used it all. I only got a few pages left, but that's where this is from. Okay. It's six by six paper. And Natasha from Treasure Books, she called them pocket books. Okay, beautiful beings. But I want to make these. This one I did where you can see the next page. Okay. So you have that ripple effect, you open it up, but before you open it up, you can see the ripple effect of each page. It's the first one I made. Then I decided I wanted them where you could see more. And that's how I came up with this idea. Okay. And then at the end, you're going to have a piece that doesn't have nothing on it. So I just added burlap lace. Okay. Let me take everything out of here so you can see it. But I'm not going to decorate in this video. In this video, all I'm going to do is show you how to make them. So this is part one. And then in the next one video, we will decorate them. Okay? But that's what it looks like with nothing in it. So you have that ripple effect. Okay? And that's what I'm going for. And that's I'm going to show you what I did. Okay, beautiful things? And I have this paper or beyond the shore in its first edition okay and I don't think and this is six by six and this is made from Kristen CB designs okay then I have this book and it's same is should same it's from Christian CB Designs, and this one's called Chasing Rainbows. Okay, so we're going to mix one book with each of these. And then I have this book. I think I got this book at Hobby Lobby, but it does not say. It was either at Michael's or Hobby Lobby, I believe. And it's 6x6, six six, and it's made in Poland. Craft and You Design. Designed by... Zanetta Narot. Narot. Zanetta Narot. Okay? <laughs> it's called Amor Meal, I think. I hope I say that right. <laughs> but I'll be using this book. And I picked these pages. Okay? From this book. And we already went over our Dollar Tree book. And then if you don't have 6x6 six six paper... You can use 12 by 12 paper, okay? And I already cut some stuff out from this, and I mixed it. I mixed the two books, okay? And this book is Printed Paper Pad, Fall Paper Crafting. And this is new from 2024. But here's what I picked. Some are from this book, again, like this one. This one's from this book. This one's from this book. And this one is from this book. I just mixed them up. Okay. Let me see. 2024. Okay. And again, this is fall paper crafting from Park Lane. Okay. Then I have this book here. This one's Joyful Gathering. Okay. 
And I got this paper from this book and this paper from this book and I think this one is from those sheets you can buy for 69 cents unless they're on sale I always buy them on sale at either Hobby Lobby Joanne Crafts or Michaels okay and I believe this one is too these two are and all the other ones this paper is from this book hey beautiful banks just letting you know where I got the paper in case you're interested but the reason I'm showing you is this because if you don't have six by six paper you can make your own paper okay and I'm going to show you how to do that all right I'm going to be doing Halloween paper and it's all from this book but I'm going to show you how you can cut it up really easy I already made this ripple effect book okay that and as you can see when you make the ripple keep in mind how big you make it where you can see the ripple on each page that you make okay and then when I got to this one this one is showing this page was okay so I just all I did was take a piece of burlap lace and put it there and I plan on putting something here okay so we'll be making them like this or we'll be putting closer together okay but all the papers the Halloween papers I'll be using are from this book okay but I want to show you that you can cut your 12 by 12 paper down okay and this book is from Park Lane Halloween paper crafting okay and 2024 and I think I got it at Joann's and this paper is from Joann fabrics and I just want to show you that you can cut a piece of six by six this paper off for your project so I'm gonna do it is take my cutter and I'm gonna place it right on the six this and I only need one from this page so you don't have to cut your whole page up so you have it so you can use it for something else okay and I'm just gonna go like that save this for something else I'm gonna turn this and line it up on the six line that big thick line and cut it again Okay, right. and then save this one for something else. And for this project, you're going to need four pieces, one for the cover and three for the inside. And I did ink up the sides, so when you open your pocket, you will see ink instead of just white. Then you're going to want to put them all together to make sure they all line up nicely. And these ones do. It's all measured nice and neatly, and it all runs together very well. And this is only an option if you don't want to do this you don't have to okay but what I did is I marked these up and I put front because I'm making so much I don't want to forget which one's the front but I colored every single one of them on the back I don't know why I went I think I was just trying to get the ink off on that one but I did the sides and you do not have to do this I'm doing the sides because like this one when you ink it up, you can just ink up after you do it, okay? But what I want to show you is, see, it's white in there. So you can have all kinds of different looks. You can ink it down in there before you glue it, okay, like I did here. Or you can ink it up after you do it. And after you use your circle punch, okay? Or if you want the clean look, you don't have to ink them up at all, beautiful beings. Or you can do it before, and on my Halloween ones, I did that on all of them, okay? All I did was take a piece of scrap and take some ink. So when you open up your pockets, you see a color. And you can choose whatever color matches your project. 
or you can just leave it white. And if you want to make them so they're this shape, like these, you're going to have a lot here. So you got to figure out. You, you ink that up once you get this one glued down, that one glued down, and that one glued down. Then you ink that one up. Okay, and then you glue that. Fold that over and glue it down. Okay. And plus, I wanted to point out why I got both of them here. This one has a pocket here, a pocket there. Oh, this one I did color. Right. I have a pocket there, and I have a pocket there. See, and I colored it. So when I fill them, you can see something. And then this one will just have a pocket here with a piece of ribbon here, where this one does not have a pocket there at all. That's just a cover, okay? So you can do it either way. Okay, beautiful beans. But this one, I'm gonna ink up. I just ink up the inside, and you can put two colors if you want. And then you go around it, or you can do that after it's all glued down. Use whatever ink you have. I've been using distra Distressed Oxide inks and my Dewdrop Versa Magic. Okay? Ink this stuff up. Alright. So let's get these turned around. And let's, might as well start beautiful things. First of all, you got to figure out what you want for your cover. I thought I marked this. I did. All right, this is my cover. All right, front. I marked it just for that purpose. Okay, and this is how I'm going to put them in. All right, so I got my cover, and this is how I want them in there. So I'm going to put these two over here. So let's begin, beautiful beings. Okay, beautiful beings, start off. You want to make sure your back page is lined up to your front page, and then you're going to bend it over. This is lined up nice and perfect with the bottom one. Okay, so one's down and one's up. Then I'm going to come in with this piece and figure out how much I want to show for my ripple effect. I think I want about that much. Sorry about my hand. Snickers got me. I didn't know it was that bad until now. Then you're just going to crease your paper down and it'll look like this. And then the part you want to glue down, you just add the glue to it. The glue will go on the top and the bottom of your fold. Whatever piece you're gluing down, beautiful beans. Just make sure you get your edge very good. These are really simple to make, beautiful beans. Then we're going to line this up. On there. Make sure you got a napkin. And we're just going to line it up like that. Make sure it's perfectly lined up like that. Beautiful beans and down. And it looks like this piece is bigger, so I might have to cut it down. It didn't cut right, but that's no big deal at all. Make sure the edges are nice and together. Okay, it's all lined up where it doesn't go over that side and this side because we're going to have to cut the top on this one. It is bigger, but I'm not going to worry about that right now. Okay, now we got this one folded over, and if you want, you can wait for them to dry. I'm not for the sake of the video. Okay. Now I'm going to take this paper and bring it in. And I'm just going to put a little bit of glue up here. And a little bit of glue down here. My glue is leaking really bad. I just filled it so I don't have any problems. And it's giving me problems. Because <laughs> I filled it too much. So I'm just going to use my finger. And put that along there like that. 
that. Make sure you get the edge good. Yeah. Both edges, actually. And I'm going to take this piece of paper. And we're going to line it up. Just like that. And then we're going to glue it down. I think this could be able to pull it a little bit more. Right there. It's really simple, beautiful bands. Right. Now we're going to go ahead and fold this down. Again, you can wait for your glue to dry. I'm going to fold this in. This is a little bit more showing. I kind of want the same amount, so I'm going to push it in to about there so it's even. And there's no rules. You can make them one wider than the other. You can do whatever you want. Now I'm going to bring this paper in and glue it. Okay. Look at my glue. Look at my glue. <laughs> I filled it. I was all ready and it's giving me a hard time. So I'm just going to do that. You don't need that much. Just enough to glue it down. So how's everybody doing? I hope you're all well and good. I've been very busy cleaning and fall cleaning. Getting ready for fall. I do both. I do spring and fall cleaning. So I've been busy, beautiful beings. All right, now we're gonna bring this one. Okay. Just line it up. off your hand, your finger. And I'm just checking all the other ones to make sure there's no glue that I don't want on there. I'm just wiping it off. Oh. Make sure it's lined up again. Again, you don't want to wait for them to dry. This one's not lined up down there. That one is leaking glue. So I'm going to wipe that off because we don't want them to stick together. And it gets easier as you go. And I'm going to put this one. Here, I'm gonna fold it to about there. That looks good. There, and then I'm gonna bring this over and see you have that there. So this is time. If you want to add more ink, you can, but mine's already inked up. Okay. So over here, all I'm going to do is add glue right here. If you want, you could put some down in here. You don't have to. Okay. And I'm just going to bring some glue up here. And then, again, put some in there a little bit. And then bring it up here. Then I'm going to fold this over, back upside down. Just like that. Then wipe off any extra glue you got. Okay? It's really, really simple. Really, really simple. Oh, and I forgot that part. I could take this. You have to bring it back up. I totally forgot to do for bands. 
Bring in your circle punch. You don't have to do this step. I'm just doing it because I'm putting a piece of lace there. And it'll make it easier. Of course. It would do that too, wouldn't it? It's stuck, beautiful beings. I think it's because the piece is so small. Just take your scissors and do that. Okay, and then... <laughs> this is a fist scare, and I don't know... Oh, I think it's a two-inch circle punch. And it does this to me on certain types of paper. So, I'm just putting it out there. I don't even know if I make them anymore. I think they've got different ones now, but... Yeah, there's that. I'm just gonna cut that. How's that look? It looks fine. It looks fine. And then just take your anchor and go like that. And set it up. Okay. Alright. And then just put it back where we had it. Right, so you see the difference. This one has more. This one's bigger. So if you want it bigger, it's only like, I don't know, half of an inch bigger, maybe? Okay. I just wanted to show you the difference. So one depending on your ripple, okay. the book will be smaller or bigger. It all depends on how big you make your ripple effect. But I'm going to be making a lot of these. So let's get to it, beautiful beings. Let's bring this in. This one. I need to cut the tops off. I need to cut the tops off. So let's do that. <clears throat> I'm just going to put them all together. And I did not do that with the last one. That's why they weren't all perfectly even. Because I cut them all separately from 12 by 12 paper. So if you want them all even, make sure you line them all up like this in they're all good to go and then cut them. So, make sure they're nice and tight and together and just enough to cut that circle. Okay. And there we go. And then you can save these for something else if you want. Okay. Oh, did I get the last one? Yeah. There we go. Okay, with this one. I'm going to have this as a front, right? This is going to be the front cover, right? And then I want this one to be in the front, this one to be in the middle, and this one to be in the back. But on this one, I think I'm going to go do a left-handed one just because I can. And there are left-handers out there, okay? So, I'm going to start on the left on this one. But i got to figure out where I want the bend. So I'm just going to line that up. Like that. I can't see very well. But it and then I'm going to bring this in because this is going to be the next page to get that ripple effect. So I'm just going to bend that just about there. Okay. And I'm going to put the glue down. So if you're a left-hander, there you go. I'm going to make a Halloween one, probably a fall left-handed one too. You don't have to pick it up because you could put your head over it. I can't because you don't want to see my head. <laughs> I'm just doing this to make sure it's nice and lined up. All right, then I'm going to put glue on this one. And I'm using Elena's glue if I didn't mention it. Here. 
way it looks like tacky a little bit. So I, so I'm trying to lift that up so I can line it up. It's nice and lined up. Edges. Now I'm going to bring this in and bring it out a little bit more. Alright, take the glue and put it right along here. Again, in the bottom. It's really simple to do, babes. Again, you don't have to pick it up. I'm just doing it because I can't, can't put my head in the way. And I might let that sit a minute. Bring this in. Make sure it's lined up on the bottom before you do your crease. There you go. Okay. This one's double sided, isn't it? Is it? I didn't want a double sided piece, but it's okay. <laughs> I just noticed that one's double sided. So if you want a double sided piece of cardstock, yeah, that's double sided, beautiful things. There you go. So we got different looks here. I didn't realize that one was double sided because that book does have double sided right here. Before I forget to do this step, I'm going to put this in the middle. Hopefully it punches. It did, see? See how some card stock it punches, and some don't. It doesn't like some. I'm just going to push them all down to make sure they're gluing good. And then we're going to flip that over like this. Make sure it's nice and tight and make the crease. Okay. But yeah, so if you want to throw a double-sided one in there, you can. <laughs> I did on accident. An accident, beautiful things. And I'm just going to put some glue down in there and go along here. And then inside there and up. Right. I'm going to flip that over. And this one has no ink again. Okay, so you just want that clean look. Don't use ink. And this one is a left handed one. Okay. Just making sure nothing's going to stick together. So I'm just going to wipe all the glue off. And hopefully I got enough on those edges. And there's our left handed one. Okay. It'll look like this. Open. Okay. And you don't have to put it. There, in the middle. This isn't really even in the middle. You can put it up there, you can put it down here, or exactly in the middle, or just a little bit up. Because this one's not exactly in the middle. Okay. Now we're going to move on to this one. From this book. And I didn't tell you that. This one is from this book. <laughs> okay. Alright, so... I already picked out the ones I want from this book. And just so you know, this is a Dollar Tree one. 
and this sheet is from this book, okay, from the Dollar Tree, and so is this piece. So you can mix your books up too. You don't have to have the same book, okay? And this one's from that book, okay? This one and this one is from this Dollar Tree book, okay? So you can mix and match beautiful things, because this one only had soft, and I wanted, I liked them, I wanted to use them with something else, so I chose this, okay? This is gonna be a left-hand book also. Okay, beautiful things, this is gonna be the cover. So I'm gonna put this over and we're starting on this side. That's all you gotta do, is start on this side. Okay, when you're making a left hand one. Okay, beautiful beings, I'm gonna fast forward this very slowly. I think you're getting the gist of it because you're all brilliant <laughs> and I have a lot to do. The whole video together was an hour and 45 minutes. Okay, beautiful beings, so I have to fast forward through the gluing part. But I do it very slowly, so you see the flip and where I'm gluing it. But like I said, you're brilliant, so I think you get the gist of it. So enjoy, beautiful beings. Where's my angel? Let's do this one a little different. Let's put the hole up here. Just to show you different looks. And good, it punched that perfect. <laughs> I was worried about that. Okay, beautiful beings. I'm just using Versa Magic Dewdrop Pink Petunia. So I used on this. And then I'm just gonna take it and ink that up. Again, if you're not inking them up, you don't have to worry about it, okay? There we go. And then, flip this over, make sure it lines up the bottom, so it lines up on the top. And a little angel. I think I can bring it over more. I'm gonna turn it this way just so I know it's nice and lined up. So here's one with a circle punch there. You're getting the shine off that paper. No, I'm not too bad. But there's a difference. You can move your half circle punch wherever you want. We're gonna do this one. I have not picked the papers out of this one yet. This is Beyond the Shore by Christian CB Designs again. Okay. Ooh, I could do a galaxy one. That looks like a galaxy. I didn't know that was in there. It's waves. I kind of want to do a galaxy one. Bubbles. Let's just do a mermaid one, but now I know that galaxy one's in there. And then I think it just starts repeating. And there's double-sided, so I want to make sure I do not grab that. Okay, it's double-sided in here also. That's what I want. Don't be double-sided, yes. I want the mermaids, of course. And then I want the waves. We need four all together. I probably forgot to mention that too. <laughs> Three for the inside, one for the cover. What else we got? Let's add a purple in there just so we have a bunch of different colors. All right. And there's the waves. I wish the waves were a different color though. But that's okay. That's okay. All right, I'm gonna cut the circle part off. 
and I'll be back. Okay, these things. This is gonna be my cover, and then I'm gonna go this one, this one, and that one. Okay. So I'm gonna set these aside. This one, I'll just make it a right-handed one. Okay, beautiful beings, my puncher did get stuck again, so I had to do the scissor thing again to get it out. Then I'm going to color the white cardstock behind it. So I'm going to ink that up too, because I don't really know what I'm going to put over it. Probably lace a ribbon or something that matches it. So here's this one. And then just take, I just think it makes it look finished. Just take some ink. This. don't have to you can keep it clean and just leave the white okay but I do want that purple because it's a soft purple so I think it looks nice it doesn't really overtake it it's just a nice soft purple okay I do that one I do it on this side okay Get close up just a nice soft purple. Okay. Looks are these the same size. Nope, this one's just a little tiny bigger. See? Okay. So I've got that book, that book, and that book done. Now I want to make some fall ones. Okay, this is the front. I'm gonna do a left-handed one because I want one in fall left-handed. But I forgot to put the words upside down, so now it's a right-handed one. <laughs> and I don't know about you, but once I started making these, that's why I chose to make more and more and more, because they're very, very addicting, beautiful beings. <laughs> and they just add a nice piece to a scrapbook, a journal, whatever you're making. They just add a nice piece, even just to give away for family, friends, whoever, for just an extra little tuck spot in their notebooks even for kids I just love making these <laughs> and of course you can do all seasons Easter Christmas whatever you want and then when this dries I'm gonna cut this part off and then we'll have a different look okay beautiful beings now the next one has words too so let's try and do this so I don't screw it up We'll make this one a left hand one, but I'm going to start with this. I'm just going to use this as the front page so I don't screw it up. All right, putting the words upside down, okay? So the words, to make a left handed one with words, you put the words upside down. And just continue like you're making a right handed one, but with the words upside down, it will turn into a left handed ripple effect booklet. Okay, beautiful beings. And this cardstock right here with the leaves, I should have turned it upside down, but I didn't because I was too concerned about the words being upside down. But I have an idea for that, beautiful beings. Okay, as you can see, the leaves are upside down, but I thought of an idea for that, so I'm not too worried about it. So, but that's all right. That's all right. Those ones could go any way they want. It doesn't matter. But those ones are upside down, but I have an idea. Okay? I got an idea what I can do with these. Okay? So I'm going to decorate it. In our next, in part two, 
I'll do that. Okay. All right, let's move on. I want to cut this so I don't forget. So I'm just going to open this up a little bit. And I'm going to have to ink this side up. I'm just going to use edge mahogany. So I'm going to put some edge mahogany in there. there. Okay. So this is what that one looks like. This one I'm going to leave on and put something on that. Left Halloween one, and this will be the final one I do on camera. I'll do the rest off camera. So you need one, two, three, four. I think I'm going to do these ones off camera. Maybe I'll do this one on camera for you. Let's do that one on camera. And then I'll do these other two off camera. And then when we go to part two, I'll bring them in and we'll decorate them. But I want to make a left hand one. Just make sure the bottom is lined up and everything will be fine, beautiful beings. Okay. Now I'm just going to do a regular one. This is the last one, beautiful beings. I'll end up. Yes. All right, all you got to do is fold this over like this. This is the cover. Now I'm going to take this one and fold it backwards. This. Okay. I don't know if I'm going to use that for the cover because that's a little short. So I think I'm going to use this for the cover. Okay. Yeah, this is a front anyway. So this is the cover. I'm going to fold it over. And I want every other orange and black. Alright, so I'm going to Take this, glue this in here like this. Glue it down to the edges. Shut one up. And this one seems a little shorter for some reason. I don't know why. So I'm going to ink it up. I'm just going to take this bright orange. It's just, just ripe. Per I think it's ripe persimmon. Beautiful beings. Persimmon. Persimmon. And I'm just going to... Whoop, that's really bright. <sighs> it's really bright. I didn't know, realize that was that bright. Beautiful beings. But it'll work. Because it's going to hide the white. Because I don't think this one's going to line up. Our next one we're putting in. Okay. So you might as well ink up this up here. Just in case. Yes. Because that doesn't look straight cut. It's not. So we might as well fix that now. I don't know how that happened unless it was a piece of scrap. I was trying to get rid of. Here, let me use my cutter real quick. Alright, so I'm just going to take some of this and put it on here. That is really strong orange. Again, this is ripe persum. 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 
biggest purse in Little for Bangs. So I'm gonna ink this up. I probably should put it on that ink on that side. Let's do this. And you don't have to worry about doing the ripple effect. Okay, just do it the regular effect. I like the ripple effect. But if you don't like the ripple effect, so you can do it this way. Up. And then this one, you're going to fold inside out like this. And you fold this right up to the edges that you already have. Then you're going to glue it down. Okay, so this one, you fold over backwards, and then put your glue down. And these are the ones, this one I must not have cut all out together because it depends on the design, beautiful beings, which way I wanted to cut it. But as long as you cut them out together, you won't have, it won't be all wonky. But I did manage to get all these to line up very well. It just took me a minute because <laughs> they weren't perfect. Because of my paper, I didn't cut them all together. But I'm trying to line this up so I don't have to cut so much of that off. But I'm going to have to increase this here. Again, if you got um six by six this will be all equal it will even out but I don't I'm not using that I'm using 12 by 12 so this is what we got this way and then fold it over this one is not lining up this one is a little shorter if you want them all together this is how you do it and then I can just put a piece of ribbon or something there that goes with a Halloween to cover that up okay so that's what that looks like and then I just took my circle puncher I'm not gonna do it right now I'm gonna wait for them to dry and then like I'll put one here then I'll put one a little lower and then a little lower and then this one I just won't do okay beautiful things I'll show you in part two I won't do that until part two Right, and here's a right hand one. Showed you at the start, it's really tiny separated. Okay, you can still see it's not perfect, but it works. So, you got your left handed ones, you got your ones where you don't make the ruffle, the ripple. Okay, no ripple in this one, these three, and this one, and this one, but all the other ones are ripples. Okay, go for bands. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in part two. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful everything.